Historic meeting between Obama and Castro begins new era of U.S. Cuba ties ending the decades long standstill in U.S. Cuba relations. President Obama met Saturday with his Cuban counterpart Raul Castro, the first time the two nations' leaders have sat down for substantive talks in more than 50 years. The meeting on the sidelines of the summit of the Americas came as the two countries worked to end the Cold War enmity that had led to a total freeze of diplomatic ties. This is obviously an historic meeting, Obama said at the beginning of his session with Castro, claiming that decades of strain had done little to benefit either Cubans or citizens of the United States. It was time for us to try something new, he said. We are now in a position to move on a path toward the future. Castro, who earlier in the day said he trusted Obama, acknowledged there would be difficult stumbling blocks as his nation works to repair ties with the United States. But he said those differences could be surmounted. We are willing to discuss everything but we need to be patient, very patient, Castro said. We might disagree on something today on which we could agree tomorrow. On Friday night, Obama and Castro greeted each other courteously amid an explosion of camera flashes, shaking hands before dining at the inaugural session of the conference. The two sat at the same table but not directly next to one another. Before Obama arrived in Panama on Wednesday, he spoke of Castro by phone, laying the groundwork for what will become a new era of relations between the neighboring countries. The Cold War has been over for a long time, Obama said during opening remarks at the summit Saturday. I'm not interested in having battles, frankly, that began before I was born. That exhortation, however, seemed to be lost on Castro himself, who expanded what was meant to be a six-minute speech into a 50-minute long address.